for many of us has to do with forgiveness. Whether it be forgiving someone else who's done something that we just cannot let, let it go and get beyond it. Or whether it's accepting forgiveness, asking for forgiveness from someone for something we've done or said for which we are so ashamed. Or perhaps the most difficult of all is to have to forgive who? Yourself. Yourself. Exactly. But God is in the forgiveness business. Thank goodness, huh? Mm -hmm. And so every week we pause at this time to go to Him in prayer silently as we pray our own prayer of confession and then a prayer that we pray together. So the, the prayer we're going to do together, actually if you want to go ahead and get your hymn book, hymn book back out, is found in the back of the hymn book at number 891. 891. And for that prayer, we will pray together the print that's dark, and then I'll say the part that's in the light print, and please respond. But let me invite you first just about for a moment of personal silent prayer. Merciful God, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful God, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly righteous and sober life in the glory of thy holy name amen if we confess our sins god is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness thanks be to god which with me would would you uh 